Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and program the EcoWorthy Solar Tracker. If you've already set up your EcoWorthy Solar Tracker, you can skip ahead to the chapter for programming the controller. The first thing I did was take inventory of the items in the boxes. I picked a location that would be close to the shop and have full sun most of the day including the two and a half foot hole I dug with the six inch pad I'll pour on top. It'll be a total of three feet deep and the hole at the bottom is 18 inches in diameter. I used rebar to hold both sections together and I dry poured it. Then I put the lag bolts into the post with the concrete wet. I set it in place and used a level to make sure that the post was plumb. I left the bolts loose when I set them in the concrete and because it's cold, I allowed the concrete to dry for 48 hours. In the meantime, I dug a 60 foot trench from my shop to the tracker and I just used scrap material PVC to run the wiring underground. After the concrete dried for 48 hours, I tightened the bolts and began to assemble the tracker. When assembling the unit, it was important to go to the glossary to make sure that I was using the right bolts and paid really close attention to the holes and placement of the parts on the tracker so I could assemble it correctly. Typically people set up six 100 watt solar panels or six 200 watt solar panels or any variation of different panels. However, it's built to receive six 100 watt or six 200 watt panels. I just happened to have several 260 watt solar panels and so I used three of those panels to mount to the system. If you completely set up your tracker and then manually just hit the set button and move it so that it's level with the horizon, it should be easier to attach your solar panels to the solar tracker system. If you're in the northern hemisphere, a sun sensor should be attached to the northeast corner so it gets plenty of direct sunlight. You'll need a battery with a cold temperature sensor so you don't charge it when it's too cold and you'll want its own separate panel. The system does come pre-programmed. The problem is everyone has different solar panels. So if you put a 200 pound setup on there and I put a 300 pound setup on there, the timing for the settings is gonna be a little bit different. So you do need to go in and change these settings, but you shouldn't allow it to overwhelm you. I'm going to make it really easy and explain it in detail. Once the system is set up, you need to tap the set button and manually move the panels. So when you hit the north button, it should move toward the north. Same with south and east and west. If they don't, you need to open the panel, which you need to do anyway to attach your wind sensor, and make sure the corresponding wires are correct. So if north and south are incorrect, just switch the red and the black wire, and north and south will now be correct, and same for east and west. You can also run in your wiring for the wind sensor and attach it. G is marked as G and uh, you can see that in the controller and on the wire. Next, you'll want a timer and you'll want to know the best angle for the static position of your panels. Tap the set button once and manually move your panels all the way to the west. Then set your timer and move the panels from the west all the way to the east. For me, that took 32 seconds. It'll be slightly different for you, so make a note of that number and then move it from east to center and time that as well. For me, that was about 16 seconds. Now move your panel all the way south and time from south to north. For me, that was about 18 seconds. And finally, move your panel from north to what would be the best angle for your static position. For me, that was about 16 seconds. If you don't know the angle for the best static position in your location, 45 degrees should do decent until you can figure that out. When you hit settings and hold it, after five seconds, it'll open up settings. T9, 10, 11, and 12 will correspond to these settings. So T9 is west to east, T10 is east to center, T11 is south to north, and T12 is north to the best angle for your position. T3, T4, and T5 will be the same as T9, T10, and T11, 
and T6 should stay zero. T6 is the wind setting and you want the panels even with the horizon rather than the best angle for your static position. The only other setting you might want to change is T8, which is the seconds until it searches for the sun. I think it's set at 600 standard, which is 10 minutes, and that is probably ideal. But if for some reason you need to manipulate that, you could change it to 1800 seconds, which would be 30 minutes or so on. For me, the final steps will be to connect the battery to the 100 watt solar panel I have and set it up. And then I'll put in a post to mount my wind sensor and use some zip ties to clean up all the wiring. And I need to finish the PVC pipe up to the pole to have a real clean setup. I'll put a link down below if you want to get one of these. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer them all.